Hey everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shea and thank you for joining me for another behind the scenes video as I do some prep work for the next soap. I am going to do a little bit more piping of some flowers today and I have about 100 grams of oil in my container here and I have my lye water solution all set and ready to go. I'm going to pour my lye water as I always do into my oils and then I'm going to mix it up and then we're going to split it out for two different purple colours. colors I am using today I have got some eminence um, mica which is a really nice dark purple color and I've mixed that in with a little bit of the oils um, just before I actually mix this all together and we'll get this one nicely scraped out so we can get all of that color in there and the other color I'm going to use today is Mad Minion, which is a lighter shade of purple. And both of these purples have come from my micro obsession. I think this time I'm actually going to pour some soap in there first, just to make it a little bit easier to get as much of this color out as I possibly can. So I'll put that in there. I'm going to give it a stir up. I'm going to leave it to set just for a little bit, and then I'm going to pop it into the piping bags, and we'll come back to pipe the flowers. at piping some lavender heads for the next soap and in my biodegradable bag here I have a Wilton's Rider's Tip in a size 2 and in my other bag I actually have a size 3. I bought you down for a different angle so that you can actually see without my hand getting in the way and I'm going to do two different coloured um, flower heads. I'm going to pipe straight onto my tray because I don't need any flower nails and what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to start with just one of the little heads and I'm just going to squeeze and make like a little teardrop sort of shape. Then I'm going to come either side of that one and create two more but come down just a little bit as well so you can start to get like the tip of the flower will be really fine and then you come down and it will slowly get a little bit wider. You'll see what I mean when I've actually finished. I'm going to come back in and where that center one is I'm going to do another of those shapes so basically we start off with one and then two petals and then three petals the next one I'm going to come back in where the sort of overlay is and we'll end up with four petals because we'll do the edges and you just keep going down like that so we'll get five and then six so you go as wide as you actually want it to go so we'll come down there and then once you've got your flower as wide as you want to go, just don't do the outer ones. So now I'm just going to do the centre ones and bring it back down to a smaller head. I'm not going to come all the way down to one because when I actually put these onto the soap, I will then use some green to put a little bit of green down the bottom just to finish them off. So we'll come on to the next one here. And again, I'm just going to start with that one as a teardrop. Then we're going to do two, so one on either side of that first one, and then come down a little bit more, and we will end up doing three on this one. And then we'll go for four, and always applying nice, even pressure. As you start doing more and more of these, you'll know when you squeeze, and then you can let up, and then you can start your next row and it becomes quite quick and easy. Don't worry if they're not perfect shapes because as I've said in other videos flowers are not perfect so the kind of squiggly lines that I'm getting on this are going to be perfect to give that more realistic look to the lavender. I'll just grab my other purple so you can see the two different colors we're going to have. This one has got a slightly smaller tip this is the Rider Tip 2 but again, we're going to use that same sort of principle on here. I'm just going to squeeze, work our way down. So we've got three. Now I'm going to put in four. I'm going to do one more wide, so we're going to go five. 
And what I'm doing is I'm squeezing, I do a heavier squeeze at the top to get a little bit of a ball shape. And then I lessen my squeeze to get the little tail of the flower. And I'm going to leave that one as it is because as I said I'll finish it off with a little bit of green at the end. So as mentioned in a couple of my videos I am not a huge fan of lavender. I, it's actually more the lavender fragrance that I don't like. I don't mind a good lavender essential oil and I like the smell of lavender um, that you can grow as well. I remember my mum used to grow lavender in one of the houses that we lived in when I was a child and I remember her picking them when they came into flower and then putting them into the airing cupboard to dry and would get all these dried lavender heads and she'd use them in pot puree and stuff like that. And I decided when I had finished the shed, I actually wanted to have some things grow in the garden that I could actually start to use in my soaps. So last year I did actually purchase some lavender. I got some French lavender and I've planted them out the front of the shed. I let them do their first season without um, trying to cultivate any of the flowers. But I'm hoping that this year I will be able to use some of the flowers so I'm hoping to be able to pick them. I've got a dehydrator so I would probably put the flower heads into the dehydrator to make sure that they dry out nicely and then we don't get any sort of problems with them growing mold and that sort of thing if they're not dried out properly um, to using creams and stuff. But I have got them, I planted them out the front of the shed and I've got four, five bushes there. I think No, there's six actually. So we've got six French lavender bushes and then there's another one. It's a really pretty pink lavender that comes out of it. It's not actually lavender flowering season here in Australia as far as I know, but one of my lavenders has actually thrown some spikes off the top and I think that's because our weather got so strange, like it was really quite warm and then we got some rain, very much like spring weather. So I think my little lavender plant got a bit confused there. So I'll just let it do its thing and then hopefully when it does come around to spring it will flower again and then we can start actually harvesting and using some of my lavender flowers. lavender heads are actually quite easy to pipe and you are able to pipe them straight onto the top of your soap because you don't really need to have that sort of twisting action that you need from a flower nail. But one of the reasons I like to pipe straight onto my piping, or onto my parchment paper as you just saw there, is if I actually muck up one of the flowers or I'm just not very happy with how it looks, I can easily scrape it up and then just start again. If you were to do them straight onto the top of your soap, it is very hard to be able to actually do that without messing up the whole design. So that's one of the reasons I prefer to pipe straight onto my parchment sheet here. The other reason being is if I was to pipe straight onto the top of my soap, there is a very good chance that my soap will actually be set or the top of it will be a lot more set by the time I get halfway through the piping and it just makes it a little bit harder to get the flowers to actually stick to the soap. Whereas if I do it this way, I get that um, bit more working time to adhere all of my flowers just the way I want them onto the top of the soap. 
So I hope you have enjoyed watching how I am making my lavender heads for the next soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you've got any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. If you are new around here, why not subscribe to the channel? I do bring out weekly and try to bring out midweek videos as well. And if you hit the little bell sign, it will let you know the next time I bring that video out, which will be Saturday, and you'll see how I finish these lavender heads off. So thank you so much for watching, and until the next video, I hope you have a great one. I'll see you then. Bye. <music>